Hello, my name is Jackie Fenaroli, and I'm a mechanical engineer and president of Stonewall Saddle Company. I'm going to show you today an exciting new invention in saddle fitting, and that is the Living Bar Technology. This technology achieves the holy grail of saddle fitting and that the bar passively morphs to match the horse that it rests upon, while at the same time maintaining a rigid load path that distributes the rider's weight over the entire bar surface. I think the easiest way to demonstrate this technology is by reviewing the current state of the art in equine saddles. And that is we have two basic types of saddles, a treeless saddle that lacks a rigid structure and a treed saddle. Let me show you. The saddle pad is much like a treeless saddle in that it lacks an internal structure so that it can bend and change shape to match the horse that it rests upon. One thing it cannot do is distribute the rider's weight. Let me show you. My weight is being transferred through this pad directly to the floor below, but only underneath my footprint. Because this pad lacks a rigid structure, it cannot distribute my weight over the entire surface area. Here we have a rigid saddle tree. This tree is made in a conventional manner. It's rawhide covered wood. Because it's rigid, it does a good job of distributing my weight. In fact, here you can see that there's no weight directly underneath my feet. Instead, this structure is distributing the weight to these four corners. What it lacks is the ability to change shape to match the horse it rests upon. Our new patented living bar technology allows us to achieve that holy grail, a bar that passively morphs to match the horse that it rests upon and a rigid structure to distribute the rider's weight over the entire surface area. Let me show you what that technology looks like underneath the hood of Stonewall's new Endurance Saddle. We can easily remove the stirrups and fenders. This is handy when you want to lunge your horse and not have the stirrups banging against their sides. Or if you want to pack the saddle for transport, The cantle is adjustable, so you can change the seat size from a 17 to a 14 inch, which makes it a versatile saddle, fittable to any rider. And we have a snug strap. This allows you to tighten the cinch without dismounting the saddle, a real safety feature. And now with the saddle stripped, you can see the two main components of the living bar technology, a rigid carbon fiber chassis that distributes the rider's weight all along this rock rail edge and the living bar themselves, which can teeter totter back and forth across that edge. I can better illustrate that technology to you by showing you the individual components. The living bar saddle is made of two main components. Here I have a rigid carbon fiber chassis and we have the living bar itself, which you can see can twist and bend to match the horse's shape. It's made of a series of carbon fiber tubes, which are rigid and they're held in planar relation to each other with foam cartilage. What that does is it allows each carbon fiber tube or rib to move independently of its neighbor. And when we mount the bar to the chassis along its midline, it can teeter-totter back and forth so that each rib 
carries its share of the weight and teeter-totters until it's laying against the horse's back in this manner. Here we have a pair of living bars and they can teeter-totter to fit a wide horse or a narrow horse. They can change in twist to match a particular horse and they can also change in the amount of rock or sway that they have. And this is how we achieve the holy grail of saddle fit. In the past, individual horses were fitted with saddles and any rider wanting to ride that horse rode that horse's saddle. But the living bar technology changes that attachment because it will fit essentially any horse, any rider, and can be dressed for any discipline. We created the living bar technology for the freedom and comfort of the horse and security of the rider. It is the last saddle you will ever need to purchase. Happy trails.